I am announcing Boost Your Ionic UI Skills title. Welcome to the video series Boost Your Ionic UI Skills. In this video series, we are going to look into improving your UI skills. The prerequisite for this video series is knowledge in Ionic framework because we are not going to explain Ionic basics here. We are going to concentrate on UI techniques. Let's get started. In this tutorial, the written version will be there in thedevclass.com. All resources will be there also and for the coding, it will be in the GitHub repository as showing in the screen. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. While creating a new Ionic project, it will prompt you to select a template. So there is tab template, side menu and blank. This is the most known templates in Ionic framework. So blank, side menu and tabs. I'm going to let you know what is the difference between these three. For the blank starter template, it will create you a blank page like this one in front of you. You have to fill it with whatever component here. For the side menu starter template, it will create you a menu like this one, the sliding one. You can slide it with the pointer like this, or you can click the menu button here. For the tabs template, it will create you tabs like this. And this is the three templates that you can use while creating the Ionic project. In Ionic project, you can view in two different look, the material design look, which is targeted for Android and for the iOS while selecting, maybe I will select iPhone 6 here and I will refresh. See here, the look and feel got different. It will be for iOS look. Even if you are going here for the tabs, you can select iOS and the look for the tabs will be different. There is Ionic configuration to like permanently set a mod of the look. Even if it is for iPhone, we can set it as material design. So how to achieve this? I will show you. In the project, I will go to the source folder to the app, appmodule.ts. Here we can see in the imports Ionic module for root. This one will accept an object. If you want more information what this Ionic module accept, press on control and press here for root. It will let you go to the class of Ionic module. So here you can see here for root it will accept the config. If you want to know what this config are, again control and press on it. See here, a lot of properties like mod. This one is the one which can accept like iOS or MD. So if we set mod equal to iOS, it will be permanently iOS even if you are in Android device. If you set it in MD, it will be with a material design look even if you are in iOS device. Here is a lot of, a lot of like properties that you can change in Ionic config. We can set the ripple effect to false. By default is true. The ripple effect is that effect. Once you are clicking on the button, it will show you the bubble like effect. A lot of things you can change here, even the animation if you want to disable all the animation and all description are there here. So what each configuration will do. So if I go here and change the mod to MD, to set it you will be writing like this. You will open the object, you will write the name, the key of the object and the value so like this i set the mode to md like here i set the mod then what it will accept is mod md or ios so if i save it here i will see material design look for iphone even if i refreshed 
it will be permanently material design look.